Okay, class, this is Dr. Billy Riggs from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. If you remember uh, where we left off, we're doing a, uh, some work with SketchUp. When we left off, uh, looking at grabbing uh, some data from San Luis Obispo, if you um, remember, we started off with a blank SketchUp screen uh, and we grabbed an area. Uh, and we use that from its, its default on your toolbar up top, but you can also get it uh, by going to view. Uh, tool palettes and activating the Google tool tool palette uh, right here. Um, we'll keep that open for now. Uh, I've already typed in San Luis Obispo, California. I'm interested in one particular location in San Luis Obispo, and I'd like you to, uh, if you want to follow along with me, you can. I'm going to say uh, uh, Broad and Higuera uh, streets in San Luis Obispo, um, and if you type any cross uh, street. It'll generally come to that, go to that cross street. Here we go. Um, it's a general lo location I'm looking for. And what we're going to be doing is modeling the, the faces of these buildings. Um, and we want to do that just for quick and dirty planning purposes. Um, you'll see that I actually mistyped where I was going. So I'm going to zoom out a little more. And we can drag and drop um, where we want to go. Um, I'm actually wanting to go down here to Broad and Hygera. So right here is where I want. Uh, and once I click grab, I'm going to be modeling one of these buildings, but once I click select region, it's going to be uh, pulling that in there. Uh, so you see here, um, and I can adjust based on that. We'll, we'll actually make sure, try to get the in, full intersection in. Um, and you all want you to do this as a part of your assignment. I'm going to click grab, and what that's going to bring is going to bring it in as a palette on top of your screen there. And you'll see here that we can toggle the terrain. In this version of the train, uh, there's not a whole lot of difference. Um, but I can also bring in uh, larger geography. And I'm going to zoom out here. And you'll see here if I zoom out to this level and say select region and grab that, um, it'll bring in substantially more um, topography. And you'll start to see a little more of that undulation um, there. I'll switch it off. And you see there just kind of the, the differences. Um, I'm going to uh, take that layer off um, because I really just want my detailed layer here. And I have to unlock it to start off with. And then I'm just going to click Delete. Um, let's go and let's zoom into this site. Now, we're going to conduct a simple exercise. Uh, but what I want you to do, since we're going to be modeling one simple building, one of my favorite restaurants, Big Sky Cafe, which is right here. Um, what I want you to do is something we did before, which uh, had to do with changing this axis. Uh, this makes your drawing so much easier if you do this. So I'm going to go Tools, Axes, and um, make sure if it, you know, it's on the face in the group. And, and since I'm interested in this building, I'm going to just drop my axis right there. And I'm just wanting to make some perpendicular lines there. Um, so that I can actually start off and, and be able to track those um, those well. And you see there that um, I have it drawn there right on top. I didn't get it exactly like I wanted. I can always do it again. Um, let's try it one more time. Tools, axes. Um, I'm going to go right there in that corner uh, on the face in the group, on the red axis, right there. And then I'm just going to pop it right back there. Uh, and I think that should resolve it a little bit. Let's do one more time. For some reason, I'm not getting it right. There we go. And then my green axis, I'm wanting it to go right there. So you see, I got it. Um, I got to change a little bit. Oh, we're going to let it go for now. Uh, now I just want to start drawing my shape. And we're just going to do a simple box in this case. Um, and we'll draw along the axis here. And we're going to keep it, let's just delete that, and we're going to keep it along this axis just um, so we can have a nice square building. You see there we have a, a nice square building, and we could model more than just that if we so chose. Um, again, this is not going to be perfect. Um, we're slightly off grid here. Uh, but for our purposes today, uh, it's just fine. So what I want you to do is just extrude that building, and we're going to go, uh, let's go 20 feet. And if you remember, 
what we do is we start pulling up and we use our keyboard and I've typed 20 in feet and enter and I end up with a 20 foot building um, and you can see that um, by scale um, now so let's just say I wanted to model what this looked like from the street um, how would I do that in a quick and dirty fashion well uh, Google provides a, or SketchUp provides a very useful way to do that and it deals with um, what's called photo textures um, if I have any of these sides selected I, I can actually pull data from actual photos but also from Google Earth and I'd like you to do this uh, as a part of your um, your last assignment uh, what you do uh, in the Google bar which you have activated by going to view tool palettes and hit on Google uh, here's your warehouse bar where you've actually inserted some uh, components already uh, under Google you're gonna actually click on this Google uh, what looks like the Google Street Man uh, photo textures and you'll see here it gives you um, first time you use it it'll give you uh, some information about how to better use it you'll see here that it ends up with the, again the Google Street Map um, here's one intersection I'm gonna actually you know uh, go on to this street uh, I'm interested in this uh, facade right here uh, and what you want to do is try to get as square as you can in front of that facade. Um, line yourself up to it and uh, we're going to want to actually select that entire facade and that's going to be the facade of our building. So uh, we're going to say select region and what it does is it gives us four pens that allow us to take components. And we want to try to get it uh, as tight as we can uh, but also to get the entire building. So you'll see here I'm going to get this entire uh, as much as I can of this entire brick facade um, including uh, this parapet uh, so you see here I've got the entire parapet and I'm gonna pull it down just so I can capture uh, the full facade and I know that uh, in this uh, because of the way it's shot I'm not gonna get building on the edges but that's okay in this case um, and when I click grab it's going to actually put it right there on the front of that building and you see here when I zoom around, uh, I take it off, I end up with a nice uh, little picture of what that might look like. It's set back, um, the sidewalk is still there, I could drop some trees in, but I could also edit that and I could actually take this and uh, make some, uh, basically some design flourishes based on the way this building is actually laid out based on the street layout. Um, here I'm going to pull each of these down five feet. Uh, and this is similar to the way the building is designed already uh, and then maybe what this is is actually um, just a false parapet and so maybe what I have there is just um, something that's set back in a different way so you see here what I've been able to do is articulate a flat roof uh, based on uh, something is different. I can actually put different surfaces here to as well. Um, but the purpose of this is really to focus on uh, facading with streets. Um, if you uh, uh, would like to actually um, look at this more, uh, right click on photo texture and you can actually um, use your own photos as well. Uh, but I wanted to actually just provide an intro to that. Uh, we'll talk more and you can ask questions in class. I hope this has been useful and good luck with your continued modeling. Uh, signing off for now and see you next this week.